Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. At RenewEnergy.com, we believe in the power of clean, sustainable energy to transform the way we live and work. That's why we offer a range of solutions for businesses and homeowners looking to switch to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water. The hydrogen molecule, the simplest and most abundant in the universe, has become a focal point in the quest for sustainable energy solutions. This introductory chapter provides a comprehensive overview of hydrogen energy, with a particular emphasis on green hydrogen, its potential role in achieving energy sustainability, and the scope and objectives of this report. Overview of Hydrogen Energy Hydrogen, as an energy carrier, has long been considered as a potential solution for various energy-related issues. It possesses a high energy content per unit of weight, approximately three times higher than that of fossil fuels, and when combusted, produces water vapor, hence emitting no greenhouse gases. This makes hydrogen a clean and efficient source of power. Hydrogen can be used in fuel cells to generate electricity, or directly as a fuel for heat and transportation. It can also serve as a way to store renewable energy, helping to balance supply and demand on the power grid. Role of Green Hydrogen in Sustainable Energy Green hydrogen refers to hydrogen that has been produced using renewable energy sources. This is in contrast to gray or blue hydrogen, which is produced from natural gas or other fossil fuels, often with associated greenhouse gas emissions. The production of green hydrogen through electrolysis powered by renewable energy sources, like wind, solar, or hydroelectric power, leads to zero emissions, making it a truly clean source of energy. Green hydrogen can play a significant role in achieving a sustainable energy system, particularly in sectors hard to decarbonize like heavy industry and long-haul transportation. Additionally, it offers a promising solution for energy storage, capable of absorbing excess renewable energy during periods of low demand and providing energy during periods of high demand or when renewable generation is low. Scope and Objectives of the Report the purpose of this video is to provide an in-depth understanding of green hydrogen production, storage, and transportation. We will explore the various technologies used in these processes, discuss their efficiency, cost, and environmental impact, and present some of the key challenges and opportunities in the sector. The report also aims to provide insight into the current market for green hydrogen, future trends, and potential areas of growth. Through a series of case studies, we will illustrate the practical applications of these technologies and the impact they can have on achieving sustainability goals. Green Hydrogen Production Producing hydrogen in a way that doesn't contribute to greenhouse gas emissions is a cornerstone of the shift towards cleaner energy. The following section will explore different methods of producing green hydrogen, with an emphasis on water electrolysis. Introduction to Green Hydrogen Production Green hydrogen production refers to the generation of hydrogen through processes that utilize renewable energy sources. This ensures that the entire life cycle of hydrogen production, from energy generation to hydrogen creation, does not result in carbon emissions. The most common method of green hydrogen production is through the electrolysis of water, driven by electricity from renewable sources. Water electrolysis Water electrolysis involves the decomposition of water, H2O, into hydrogen, H2, and oxygen, O2, by passing an electric current through it. The process requires a significant amount of energy, which, in the context of green hydrogen, comes from renewable sources. Alkaline electrolysis Alkaline electrolysis has been around for many years and is a well-understood technology. In this process, a solution of water and a strong electrolyte, like sodium or potassium hydroxide, is split into hydrogen and oxygen gases when electricity is passed through it. This process is facilitated by electrodes typically made of a metal like nickel. Proton Exchange Membrane PEM, Electrolysis Proton Exchange Membrane Electrolysis, also known as Polymer Electrolyte Membrane Electrolysis, uses a solid polymer as an electrolyte and porous electrode catalysts, which promotes efficient gas release. The key advantage of PEM electrolysis is that it can operate at high current densities, meaning it can produce a lot of hydrogen quickly. Solid Oxide Electrolysis Solid Oxide Electrolysis uses a solid ceramic material as its electrolyte. When high temperature, 800 to 1000 degrees Celsius, is applied, water, in the form of steam, splits into hydrogen and oxygen. Solid Oxide Electrolyzers work at high efficiencies and can also be used to co-electrolyze water and carbon dioxide to produce a syngas mixture, H2 and CO, which can be further used to produce synthetic fuels. Other Methods of Green Hydrogen Production 
Other methods of green hydrogen production include biological methods, such as photosynthetic water splitting, enzymatic hydrogen production, and microbial electrolysis. These processes leverage biology's incredible capacity for chemical transformations and can offer lower temperature, lower pressure alternatives to traditional electrolysis. 2.4 Cost and Efficiency Analysis As of now, the cost of producing green hydrogen is still relatively high, primarily due to the high costs associated with electrolysis equipment and the significant amounts of energy required for the process. Efficiency varies depending on the specific technology used. Alkaline electrolyzers typically have an efficiency of about 70 to 80 percent, PEM electrolyzers range from 60 to 70 percent, and solid oxide electrolyzers can exceed 80 percent efficiency under certain conditions. However, with technological advancements and economies of scale, the costs are expected to decrease significantly, making green hydrogen a competitive option for a wide range of applications. The next section will discuss the storage of this green hydrogen, another critical element in the hydrogen energy value chain. Storage of green hydrogen. Once green hydrogen has been produced, it must be stored so that it can be used when needed. The unique properties of hydrogen pose unique challenges for its storage, which this section aims to address. Importance of hydrogen storage. The ability to store hydrogen is crucial to effectively harness its potential as an energy carrier. Storage allows for the balance of supply and demand, ensures energy is available for use when needed, and enables transportation of hydrogen from places of production to places of use. Physical storage methods. Physical storage methods involve storing hydrogen in its unaltered molecular form. The main physical storage methods are compression and liquefaction. Compressed hydrogen storage. In this method, hydrogen gas is stored under pressure in specially designed tanks. The tanks must be designed to withstand high pressures, usually between 350 and 700 bars. This method is relatively straightforward and widely used, especially in hydrogen-fueled vehicles. Liquid hydrogen storage Liquid hydrogen storage involves cooling hydrogen gas to extremely low temperatures, minus 253 degrees Celsius, until it becomes a liquid. The liquid hydrogen is then stored in insulated tanks. This method requires significant energy for the cooling process but allows for more dense storage of hydrogen. 3.3 Material-Based Storage Methods Material-based storage methods involve storing hydrogen within another material. Metal Hydrides In this method, hydrogen is stored in a metal alloy. When the metal is heated, it releases the hydrogen. This method allows for safe, compact storage but requires significant energy to release the hydrogen. Chemical Hydrides Chemical hydrides store hydrogen within a chemical compound. The hydrogen can be released by reacting the compound with water or heat. This method also allows for compact storage but requires significant energy to release the hydrogen, and the chemical compounds used can be expensive. Carbon-based material storage Carbon-based materials, like activated carbon and graphene, can adsorb hydrogen onto their surfaces. This method is still in the research and development phase but shows promise for high-density, low-pressure storage. Cost, Safety, and Efficiency Analysis The cost, safety, and efficiency of hydrogen storage depend on the method used. Compressed gas is the cheapest option but requires large, heavy tanks and has safety concerns due to the high pressure. Liquid hydrogen storage is more compact but requires significant energy for cooling, making it less efficient. Material-based storage methods can be compact and safe, but they can also be expensive and require significant energy to release the hydrogen. Overall, each method has its pros and cons, and the choice between them depends on the specific application and situation. Future research and development will aim to improve these methods and potentially develop new ones to make hydrogen storage safer, cheaper, and more efficient. Transportation of Green Hydrogen Transporting green hydrogen from the production site to its place of use is an essential step in the value chain. The following section outlines various methods of transporting green hydrogen and discusses the cost and safety implications of each. One need for hydrogen transportation. The need for transporting hydrogen arises from the fact that the sites of production and consumption are usually located at different places. Moreover, to truly harness the power of hydrogen as a clean energy source, it needs to be available everywhere not just near the production sites. Thus, efficient and safe transport mechanisms are necessary. Pipelines Pipelines are a common way to transport hydrogen, especially over short to medium distances. 
Hydrogen specific pipelines are constructed from materials that can resist hydrogen embrittlement, a process where hydrogen atoms diffuse into the metal, making it brittle. Compressed hydrogen in tanks. Hydrogen can also be compressed and transported in high pressure tanks. This is a common method for distributing hydrogen to fueling stations for hydrogen powered vehicles. The compressed hydrogen tanks can be loaded onto trucks or trains and delivered to the destination. Liquid hydrogen in cryogenic tanks. Another method for long distance transportation involves cooling the hydrogen to very low temperatures to transform it into a liquid, which significantly reduces its volume. The liquid hydrogen is then stored in cryogenic tanks and can be transported by ships, trucks, or trains. This process is energy intensive due to the cooling requirements but allows for efficient transport of large amounts of hydrogen. Other methods of hydrogen transport. Hydrogen can also be chemically bound to a carrier to form a liquid organic hydrogen carrier, LOHC. This allows the hydrogen to be transported in a stable, non-pressurized, non-cooled state, and then released from the carrier at the place of use. This method is still under development but could potentially offer a safe, energy-efficient solution for transporting hydrogen. Cost and Safety Analysis The cost of hydrogen transportation depends on the method used and the distance covered. Pipeline transport is typically the cheapest for shorter distances, while liquefaction and low HCs may be more cost-effective for longer distances or larger quantities of hydrogen. Safety is a significant concern when transporting hydrogen due to its high flammability and the potential for embrittlement of materials. Each transportation method has specific safety requirements and standards in place to manage these risks. With advancements in technology, the cost of hydrogen transportation is expected to decrease, and its safety to improve. This will be crucial to realize the full potential of hydrogen as a widespread energy carrier. The market for green hydrogen. The growth of the green hydrogen market is critical for the global transition to a low carbon economy. This section provides an overview of the current market, its future potential, the key players involved, and the impact of policies and regulations. Current global market overview. As of today, the market for green hydrogen is still nascent but growing rapidly. While the majority of hydrogen currently produced is gray or blue, green hydrogen production is expected to increase significantly in the coming years due to a combination of declining costs and favorable policies. Most of the green hydrogen produced today is used in industry and transportation, and there are numerous pilot projects exploring its use in various other sectors. Potential Markets and Future Projections The potential market for green hydrogen is vast and diverse, encompassing various sectors. These include transportation, where it can fuel hydrogen-powered vehicles, industry, where it can replace fossil fuels in high heat processes, and energy, where it can serve as a form of renewable energy storage. According to some estimates, green hydrogen could meet 24% of the world's energy needs by 2050, creating a market worth trillions of dollars. However, these projections depend on a variety of factors, including technological advancements, cost reductions, and supportive policies. Key Players in the Green Hydrogen Market the green hydrogen market includes a variety of stakeholders, including electrolyzer manufacturers, renewable energy providers, industrial hydrogen users, hydrogen fuel cell manufacturers, and logistics and transportation companies. Some key players in the market include Siemens, ITM Power, Nell Hydrogen, Plug Power, and Ballard Power Systems. Policy and Regulation Influence on Market Development Policies and regulations play a significant role in the development of the green hydrogen market. Supportive policies, such as subsidies for green hydrogen production or requirements for renewable hydrogen use, can help to drive demand and reduce costs. On the other hand, regulatory barriers can slow market development. Many governments have recognized the potential of green hydrogen and have included it in their climate and energy strategies. For example, the European Union has set a target to install at least 40 gigawatts of electrolyzers within the EU by 2030, and several countries, including Germany, France, and South Korea, have announced national hydrogen strategies. As the policy landscape continues to evolve, it will play a critical role in shaping the future of the green hydrogen market. Case studies. Presenting real-world scenarios provides valuable insights into the practical application of green hydrogen technologies. Green hydrogen production, storage and transportation, success stories. Case study 1. Ørsted's green hydrogen projects. Ørsted, the Danish renewable energy company, has been a pioneer in the green hydrogen sector. In 2020, 
they, along with several partners, were granted funding for a project called Green Fuels for Denmark. The initiative seeks to develop a 10 megawatts electrolyzer facility, which will produce green hydrogen from offshore wind power. The hydrogen will then be used in buses, trucks, and potentially airplanes, showing the versatility of green hydrogen. Case Study 2, The Island of Orkney, Scotland The Orkney Islands in Scotland have been producing more wind and tidal power than they can use. Instead of wasting this excess renewable energy, they have been converting it into green hydrogen. The hydrogen is used to power vehicles on the islands, and there are also plans to use it for heating. This demonstrates how green hydrogen can be a solution for storing excess renewable energy. Challenges and Solutions in Real-World Implementations Case Study 3, California's Hydrogen Fueling Stations The rollout of hydrogen fueling stations in California has faced several challenges, primarily related to infrastructure. There are concerns about the safety of transporting hydrogen, and the cost of installing new pipelines can be high. To overcome this, the state has been using tube trailers to deliver hydrogen to fueling stations. While this is not the most efficient method, it has allowed the infrastructure to expand while other solutions are being developed. Case Study 4, Germany's National Hydrogen Strategy Germany has recognized the potential of green hydrogen and has set a goal to become a global leader in hydrogen technologies. However, they face the challenge of producing enough renewable energy to meet their green hydrogen goals. In response to this, the country has been investing heavily in offshore wind farms. Germany is also considering importing green hydrogen and is working on international partnerships to secure supply chains. This case shows that even countries with high ambitions in green hydrogen may need to consider various strategies to meet their goals. Challenges and Opportunities Green hydrogen holds significant promise for decarbonization but the sector faces many challenges. However, these challenges also open up numerous opportunities. Current challenges in green hydrogen sector. High production cost, producing green hydrogen is still more expensive than producing gray or blue hydrogen. This is mainly due to the high cost of electrolyzers and the large amounts of electricity required for electrolysis. Energy requirement, the process of electrolysis requires significant amounts of energy. To ensure that the hydrogen produced is truly green, this energy needs to come from renewable sources, which can be intermittent. Storage and transportation, hydrogen is difficult to store and transport due to its low density and the fact that it can cause embrittlement in many materials. Infrastructure, the existing infrastructure for energy production and distribution is mainly set up for fossil fuels and is not suitable for hydrogen without significant modification or replacement. Market development. The market for green hydrogen is still developing. Demand needs to be increased, and regulations need to be put in place to ensure safety and encourage investment. Future opportunities and trends in green hydrogen. Technological advancements, advances in electrolysis technology, including improvements in efficiency and reductions in cost, could significantly boost the green hydrogen sector. Hydrogen-powered vehicles, Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are an exciting application for green hydrogen. They have similar range and refueling times as conventional cars but produce no tailpipe emissions. Energy storage. Green hydrogen can serve as a form of renewable energy storage, helping to address the intermittency of solar and wind power. Decarbonizing industry. Green hydrogen could play a significant role in decarbonizing industrial processes that currently rely on fossil fuels, such as steel and cement production. Government policies. Many governments around the world have recognized the potential of green hydrogen and are implementing policies to support its development. These include subsidies for green hydrogen production and use, and the inclusion of hydrogen in renewable energy targets and strategies. International collaborations. Countries around the world are joining forces to foster the global green hydrogen market. These collaborations aim to align standards, share best practices and research findings, and jointly invest in green hydrogen projects. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, Visit us at RenewEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.